back. Your girl is back. Guess what, y'all? I've been had this message on my mind for like two days already about herbalists. I said, okay, I'm going to write it down so I can do a, a spiritual intuitive message or, you know, a, a spiritual wisdom on herbalists and what is it really. So, but before y'all know, I got to give y'all some education. Check with your doctor first. Last year around August, I had this major, major, major quaking, like inside my body. Like I could not fucking stop it to save my life. So I had to go to the herbal store and get something to calm them, them ley lines and them meridians down y'all. And this is what I found for nervousness anxiety if you want to call it that or uh what's the other word uh i forgot i used it earlier and forgot the other word i was thinking of nervousness anxiousness or anxiety right this gaba calm is at uh and these are natural is at sprouts or whole foods this the lady told me you put that in a drink that helps calm your little nerves down because evidently it's the it restores a healthy magnesium level so that's why i said don't start it <clears throat> or don't do it until you go to the doctor and check your your levels but i'm a nurse so i just doctor on myself and you know and this this one here i'm gonna turn around because it's long that one there and actually some lemon balm is a leaf a herbal leaf you can get too to to kind of calm down some anxiety y'all might be having around rolling girl running loose too so that's why i'm showing y'all really why i'm showing y'all this because before she ever broke out my body was already in picked up everybody's collective energy and i went through this major major earthquake like major panic attack like full-blown panic attack with high blood pressure you name it it said and it was nothing i can do and i'm a reiki master and i was doing yoga and i was doing reiki and i was using my crystals and it didn't it didn't do nothing it didn't touch it for two weeks i monitored it on my own recorded my blood pressure it would go down when i went to sleep and just wanted to rest the minute i set up it was it just shot up and then at night, when I would lay down, the inside was just, I felt every nerve, every pulse. It looked like, it looked like every damn vein. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but I felt it and I was still. That's what it was like. I was in the bed like, okay, why am I feeling this, this vibrating energy inside my body just going like this and I'm laying down in the bed trying to go to sleep? I did that for two weeks. I watched myself because I'm a nurse, of course, right? So we, we always doctor on ourselves first. That's just something nurses do. And especially I've been one for 24 years. And I know what anxiety attacks are. And so I was trying to do everything to try to relax my mind, listen to affirmations, try to calm everything down, shut everything off. It wasn't even, it wasn't even nothing I could literally control. That's what I knew. I said something going on. And evidently it was wrong, the girl, <laughs> or it was everybody's, it was everybody's feelings, you know, they fear factor feelings. And, and then just, you know, evolution itself because of the ley lines and the meridians in our body. If you in tune with mother nature, you can kind of feel the little rumbling. You can feel when she's shifting, right? People that are in tune with themselves can literally feel when she's shifting because we shift with her. And that was a major shift. And that was one like I never experienced in my life. And I was like, I don't know what this is. And I even told them, I said, I, I tried everything. I said, nothing that I did worked. No, no mantras, no I am's, no, 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 no I am's, no nothing. Okay. I was doing it all. I was doing everything I knew I could do. Right. And then I said, okay, let me go get this. So I started taking these, this, this, now this did calm it down once it got in my system. Like I said, these natural stuff take a minute, but, uh, this helped. I ain't take too much of this because of the magnesium. And I knew to kind of not go overboard. And then this diluting it with water. This helped too. As you see, I got it from Sprouts. I got all three of them actually from Sprouts. Because they sell them individual or they sell it in a round. 
like a little protein counter, little canister thing. So this is just something for y'all. Not, you know, you can mention it to your doctor if you want to go the natural route. If your doctor don't know about it, just see, just make sure it's safe for you to take it. I'm not telling you to take it on your own. This is just my do-it-yourself things. I I told y'all I try stuff to 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 see what works for me. Activated charcoal, of course, removes toxins. They use this for a lot of overdoses and stuff like that too. Uh, but this will grab any any toxins out of your body or, and help with diarrhea and stuff like that. And that's that's them little black things. So that's something I do. And of course, the oil of oregano. I already had this like twice today to 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 to, to build up my defense against Rona girl out there riding loose, going. Whatever hell, whatever hell she trying to stir up out there, right? This is my lemon. This is my lemon water and honey tea water. It's just water, y'all. Just just keep warm water. Put a lemon, put some honey in it if you need to have it flavored, and just keep drinking it all day. Yeah, I be peeing all night. So I just wanted to share those little things because this is about education and knowledge. But I wanted to ask. I, the word was herbalist that was on my mind, so I'm gonna get my paper so I can show y'all my little my little uh, breakdown of herbalist. I wrote it over there on the refrigerator, but I'm gonna write it right here. I kept it there so I wouldn't forget until I was ready to kind of bring it, you know, bring it out. So H E A R. How you spell herb? Oh Lord, Lord, see I can't even spell H E R B. A L I S T. Herbalist. What is it? What is it really? And really, what she showed me is when oh, I messed that one up. Shit. Now see that energy, that energy fucking with me. Excuse my French. It's trying to mess up me writing this. Excuse my chicken scratch. Herbalist, what is it? We want to break it down. Herbalist. Her ba ba means body. List. Right? It's a list. It's a list of herbs. Right? If we put it back together. It's a list of herbs that the physical body can take, right? That's herbalist, a, a list of her, that thing out there. I, I be calling her that thing, but she knows it's in love because I just like to make fun and say that thing out there, that's her, that's mother nature. So this is a list of mother nature herbs for our physical body. Herbal list. It's a list of herbs that she put out there on that planet, on that ground for us to take, to learn ourselves and to take care of ourselves with whatever happens. Okay, that's where you get your shamans, the medicine men, the medicine women, the herbal healers and practitioners, the spiritual healers that know how to mix the herbs, compound the herbs, right? Those are people that study the effects and the, the benefits of herbs in relation to our bodies, right? Because if you put it together, and since I'm brown like dirt, apparently, right? Look like a patch of dirt, right? We know that seed or whatever that root that took place in the ground, in the dirt, had to be cultivated and nourished and grow out of that ground in the herbs that we see so if i put two and two together that tells me that if i put them herbs in this brown dirt 
under this brown dirt, this skin of mine, that it's going to make life come out of it. Am I wrong? That's just a common sense. I ain't even looked the goddamn word up. I just looked at the word and saw what the word meant with my spiritual eye, right? So if I put it in my body, this herb that's out there that already that came out of the ground, the same dirt as my hand, then it has to be a benefit to me and bring me life, right? Because that's what it did to that dirt out there. It was planted or it grew from under the ground and it came out and it provided life to what? Earth. It provided oxygen. It provided uh, whatever the benefits of that herb was. It provided that to us. Right? We reap the benefits of, of that being that. So no one can say Mother Nature does not tell all. Nobody can say that Mother Nature does not show all things. Tell all things and show all things. The one true divine source. That gal out there. So it's up to us to take into consideration. Hotel, everyone. To take into consideration if we want to take those herbs for life. You get what I'm saying? If you want to take those herbs for life. So for life to give you what air or for life as in as long as you live in your body right for life if you want to take herbs for life which means it's going to give you air because air is life. If you want to take it for life, as in the rest of your physical body life, that is our choice. How we use that herbalist. That herbalist at the top. Her body list. Because ba, B-A, stands for the body, the physical body body we say ba man say flesh right but the term is ba b a the mer ka ba the spirit of the body right because that spirit is what's giving that body life so then if i'm taking herbalist and that spirit in the Merkaba connects to the herbalist, the herb ba, herbalist, then you got to have double life. Because life giving life, right? That's a double life. So in actuality, what you have is longevity. Actually, what you get vitality is vitality from taking herbals now after seeing this if y'all don't want to take herbals that's definitely your your free choice but it's time for you to take your health care serious because that is your wealth care because that's the only way you're going to get longevity and that's the only way that you're going to get vitality Sun to sun, right? Sun to sun. That's the only way you're going to get it because that the herbs have the energy of the sun beaming down on those herbs. Now, we take those herbs into our body and all that energy from that sun goes into our body with those herbs. What do you think going to happen? That's life to life. That's spirit to spirit. That's a double life. That's longevity. You begin to manifest life, sun, radiance, rays, rays, 
over your life because you're studying mother nature. You think you're just studying you. You're studying becoming one with her to find out what it is she want this particular body to take at a certain particular point that if I don't feel well, if I just want to be preventive about my care, to stay out of hospitals, to stay out of doctor's offices, to stay out of clinics, there's herbs you can take as a preventive. We call that a preventive measure in nursing. Okay, I'm taking it just the fuck because <laughs> I don't want to catch a motherfucking thing. <laughs> Y'all know I'm going to have to go there because that's just me. So don't take it personal. Okay. But you see what I'm saying? That's why herbalists are important. And if you don't start aligning yourself with herbs and knowing herbs, how do you know what they're going to do for you? Y'all are t you're talking, but you're, you're not even taking it to see the effects if it really works. You're not even trying to prove Mother Nature wrong. Because really, in actuality, you can't prove her wrong. She gonna prove she right. She gonna prove she know what the fuck she did doing, and she know what the fuck she did when she put them goddamn herbs out there for our ass. She knew already. We want to dispute, de debate, turn a deaf eye, not the deaf ear, the deaf eye. Pretend like we don't see when people post stuff that's good for us. Y'all ought to be glad, people. Spiritual people are posting knowledge and herbs and stuff like that for y'all that don't fucking read. That don't have a clue what the shit do. And it's simple stuff that's in your closet, in your, in your cabinet that you can do. You, you just ought to be glad. So, in, that, in actuality, when you're herbalist, you study. You study it. So you, you try to learn and come away with some type of knowledge of that herb and what that herb does. It's not just about taking it to say you're taking it, but you're taking it because your spirit and your energy is telling you you need it. You need something that that plant has, something that 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 son gave that plant. And now you take it and you get that life back. You get that health back. You get that sunshine back. You get that radiant glow back. If y'all want to stop walking around here looking like y'all dead. Because some of y'all look dead. Even with makeup on. Some of the dudes look dead. I can look on Facebook in the pictures and tell. I can tell who need a detox. I can tell who needs to clean their inside out. Like I literally can tell. Through the picture. It ain't even got to be moving live like this. It can be through the through a still picture. And I can tell. Because I make assessments as a nurse. Out of 23 years. I've done home health for 13. Almost 14 years. Head to toe assessment. And all I got to do is look you straight up to your head. Down to your feet. And look you back up. And I can tell. Because my eyes are trained to do that type of observation. You see what I'm saying? And then I have a photographic memory at that because I've done it so much that it's just part of part of me. It's like a hairstylist. I'm a hairstylist. The first thing we're going to go to is the person head, how they hair looking. Ooh, it look dry and brittle. We can tell right then if you ain't taking care of your hair. That's what stylists do. We do that automatically. It's just something part of the training that gets us to look at people hair, just like nursing gets you to look at head to toe. When you do it long enough, it just becomes automatic. You don't even realize you're doing it, but you go straight to what you're looking at. So I'm going straight to your hair, your head, and down to your feet and coming back up. And I can tell. I can look at your face features and tell you ain't eating right. I can tell. If you lost some weight and you're obese, you look like two different damn people. Just like when I gain weight, you can see it in my face. Then when I lose it, you see it go down. Then if I gain a little bit more, you'll see my face get puffy. And if I lose it back, you'll see my weight go back down. Because weight comes off of the face first. It comes down like this. That's why we always see 
when people lose weight in the face and the neck. That's the first thing we notice it in. And then as it starts to come down, we'll notice it in the chest. Because if they got boobs in their woman, that go down. Then it comes down. Then it comes down. Then next you know, they figure starts coming in. The inches in the side of the waist start coming in. Then you get down to their hips. They they might be wide or spread like mine. But then when you, when I lose, you can tell because it'll start to go. It'll start to come in. It'll still be there, but it won't be out there, right? It'll start to come in, and then it goes down to the feet. That's how you can tell when people gain and lose weight. It's in their face. That's just common assessment. That's common knowledge. Why is my thing saying, these damn 20 minutes? Damn, it's cloudy-ass weather. But anyway, so y'all, get your detox information. Get some new body and detox. We should have detoxed with spring. Now, the next, if you want to be online with Mother Nature, it's, it's summer. Y'all got time to order the bottles from me, CKLS and Freedom. You can start soon. You get it. Even though you miss spring, you can do it three, four times a year if you want to with the season change and start detoxing the inside first. You have to start there. It's nothing you're going to benefit totally 100% from until you start with the inside of your body first and getting all that toxin and all that, that, them tox, that toxic crap, food, metal, whatever you've been eating, you know, out of your body. The yeast overgrowth that's blowing you up because you've eaten too much foods that cause yeast. Google what causes yeast and mucus, please, people, and cut it out if you can because that will alone eliminate some of the sicknesses. That will eliminate your weight gain because you're not paying attention to what you're eating. And Mother Nature, yes, she has herbs for all that. But that don't mean take the herbs and then continue to eat the same junk. That means switch to life so y'all can have longevity. We're dying too early. We're, we're, we shouldn't be passing in the 40s, in the 50s, in the 60s even. We shouldn't be. There's no way. Not when we got access to all these damn herbs. We got access to all these herbs. And we're passing in our 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. Barely making it to 60. That's not, that's not normal. That's not the way that should be. You know, if you got a healthy life and you're taking care of yourself and you're taking herbs and balancing and keeping yourself grounded with Mother Nature, you should have a long, prosperous life, fulfillment life of enjoyment and fulfillment. And vitality, like the sun, like, I mean, healthy life, not sickness, healthy, skin look healthy, glowing, radiant. You should have all of that because that's what you're going to get if you're taking that sun in from them plants. You have no choice. It doesn't matter if they, if they dry it out like this sage, it still was out there in the sun. They have to, it, it's going to dry out because you're, it lasts longer once it dry out and you can just put some in there and boil or whatever, steep it. And it still has that from the sun in it. If it was grown outside in nature, it has that from the sun. That's going to be in, in that makeup of that herb. That's natural sunlight, natural energy. Natural vitamin D. I don't I don't know what else to tell y'all, but if y'all feeling that nervousness or Rona girl floating around here, just ask your doctor about this natural calm because apparently a low magnesium level contributes to uh, nervousness and anxiousness, stuff like that. Okay. And then GABA calm. It says calm minds, orange flavor. And these are like little lozenges. They like, you put them on the tongue, you put them on the tongue and suck on them. And once they get down, you can swallow them, right? And it says take one lozenge one to three times a day. Allow, for best results, allow to dissolve 
in the tongue before swallowing. So this is just something that got GABA, glycine, I can't see, and two other ones that I can't see. Taurine, T-A, Taurine, T-A-U-R, T-A-U-I, I don't know, R-I-N-E or something like that, and then something else, Thai, T-Y-R-O-S-I-N-E. It has those four in there. That's it. Uh, Gabacom. This, uh, this, uh, now look at the date. Told y'all I date everything. That date says 8, it says 8, 17, 19. I told y'all that's when that, I felt that, I felt something coming. And I didn't know what it was. And now I know what it was. It was all this fear out here that I was responding to. Because I had no reason to be anxious. I, I wasn't doing anything. I, stand, I, I stayed in myself. I wasn't doing anything. And that's the other one. A-S-H-W-A-G-A-N-D-H-A. I can't pronounce it. And that bottle has the date on it. Because I'm a nurse. I date everything. 8, 17, 19. I date everything that has, so I know how, you know, how long I had it. I don't date this, but I know I gave my mom some of this. So that's why that's down. So I knew I wasn't going to have this very long anyway. But the stuff that I, I kind of feel led to date, I would date. Just because I like to keep up with stuff. So that, that go to show you that back around that, that time in August, I, you know, I was responding to that shit out there and, and all that panic it, people that are really spiritual pick up on mother nature frequencies and her changes and stuff, because we're, we're hypersensitive. We're like, like fucking damn near over hypersensitive. We can pick up energies from anybody around us and we know that shit ain't ours. Like I knew that shit wasn't mine. And then when I got to talking to a couple of spiritual brothers, they were like, I felt that too. And I was like, I knew that shit wasn't me. Cause I was like, I had no reason to have a full blown nervous, you know, damn near panic attack, whatever you want to call it. I was like, uh, uh, this ain't who shit is this? Uh, uh, well now I know it was everybody's, it was the coming up shit that I was picking up on what was creeping in. And I'm going to tell y'all what, how I knew something was wrong because when around October, November, the news channel had said, Oh, now y'all know last, the flu injection is last year's flu. First of all, let's clear this up. It's never the current flu. It's always the last year flu that they got the vaccine from. And that's what they're shooting y'all with. Okay. So in the news channel and I'm a nurse, I'm very attentive. What, no matter what I'm doing, if I have the news on and I happen to have it on that day, but I happen to be sitting down over there listening to it. And so she said, he or she, I can't remember. Oh, the flu season is coming in and it's coming in. It's fast. It's a, it's a different, it's a different type of flu. And I was like coming in fast. And it's take, that was the Corona y'all. That was it then. But I picked up on the energy before they actually, two months before they actually even really said it on the news. And then all of a sudden, we get through December. Everybody done spread it because everybody probably just think it's just a new strand of flu, right? Because every year the shit multiply because they giving injections and swabbing people's throats and shit. So it's just a new fucking strand, right? Or whatever it do. It multiply, it, it, it mutate. So... After here we come in January, and guess what we got? Rona on the loose, y'all. Rona on the loose, full blown, baby, and it's too late. Rona overseas taking out, <laughs> taking out cities and continents and all these. And, and then I, I had to think back, like wait, I was like, oh, that was Rona. <laughs> you know me, I'm trying to put two and two together, right? Playing Inspector Gadget, so I'm like. That was Rona that came in when they said they didn't know what it was. 
that it, it came in fast and it's a different strand and, and our cases are, are expanding. It takes, all it takes, y'all, is, is the ticker. That's all it takes. And then you can go, oh my God, this stuff got so out of hand before any of us really realized what was hitting us. And that's why now you see all the cases. And I'm going to tell you what, my nursing, uh, my nursing judgment tells me this is a seasonal thing. Because I'm going to tell you what, the flu, bronchitis usually, pneumonia only happens around what? October. This happened right around then. So that means if this thing died down in May because it's hot, because virus supposedly don't live in hot temperature, that means it's going to peak again in October. Don't y'all be no fool. You better get on some goddamn herbs. I'm trying to help you save your own damn self. Get your ass on something. Get to your doctor, find a herbalist doctor, and get your ass on something prophylactic. And take it. Because I don't know what you take at home for as prescription medicine. So I can't diagnose, and I'm not diagnosing, and I'm not telling you to take medicine. I'm telling you to go to your damn doctor, ask him for something prophylactic, seasonal, that you can take. That when this flu season come, if you don't want to take it during the summer, right before this flu season come back, y'all might want to take it. Because I'm telling you, this shit about to spike again. And, and I put that together just a couple of days ago. Because I was like, this ain't making sense. How does it go and come so quick, but then it comes back? Because of the hot weather. Kills it. And we're all outside. In the sun. So it can't live. Right? But when winter comes back around October, maybe September, we all start what? Going inside. The weather's changing. Fall's coming. It's getting colder. The virus is what? Come out. So take care of yourself all year. Get some herbs. Get from your doctor. Go take your doctor. Go see whoever, a herbalist doctor, whoever you know. You better Google some. It's some Chinese herbal doctors out there that's damn good that study herbs. It's probably some Indian people that's out there that study the holistic approach, you know, to, to Mother Nature. You got to look, people. You got to be proactive. You don't have to settle for regular doctors. You have a choice. You have free will. So if you don't know what you're doing, go get a doctor that do. It's no reason why you can't. It is no reason why you can't. You see what I'm saying? You just got to get off your butt. So my intuition is telling me that in October, we're going to see this. We're going to see this Rona girl again. And this Rona girl going to be worse than what we are seeing right now because of the fact that so many more people now have got that vaccine with Rona. Okay with Rona. So if you don't think them people don't know how to eat right, going to be eating all this fast food shit and all this unhealthy shit, drinking alcohol all summer long, when they when when winter come back around, Rona girl going to have a party with their ass. And then they going to be spreading the shit and not even damn knowing it. But I'm going to tell you what, they know who the hell they, they gave that damn shot to. And every injection has a lot and a manufacture number on it so that the, they know who got fucking what vaccination. They know when that shit going to expire. They know when they made it. They know what lab it was even made in. So if you think they not going to be able to track by what strand comes back and who the hell they gave that strand too? You mistaken. Because nursing 101, they going to know exactly who got what dose of what. It's like that for pneumonia. It's like that for the flu. It's like that for tuberculosis. If you got to get the TB injection, the skin test to see if you got been, been exposed to tuberculosis or got active TB, all of them. All of them. So y'all better do your research and you better find somebody that know something more than you about trying to stay healthy and get to eating right now. 
So when winter come, your body is already aligned. Your body is already cleaned out. You've already detoxed, took poops, you know, cleaned the meat out your damn system, cleaned the mucus, cleaned the yeast, cleaned the candida out your system. I'm telling y'all, this shit ain't fun. This, this Rona girl that's on the loose, Rona girl about to test some shit up. Rona girl, y'all see how all these people getting these damn injections and shit? I just showed y'all yesterday how they around the corner with the goddamn crates from an elementary school around where I stay. Why you think they there? Why? Why you think they there? In walking distance from me. Why you think they there? They at an elementary school. They sitting up in Walgreens and finna be sitting up in CVS. Finna be sitting up probably at elementary. I thought it was vote voting season. I was like, damn, it's too early to vote. The hell are these damn crates be in here for? Because they giving testing sites. So whenever you say, oh, I got a cough, a dry cough, or oh, my sore throat, or, or I'm sneezing and I'm sniffling, they right there ready to just automatically diagnose you with that shit so they can test your ass and really give you that shit and make a guinea pig out of your ass. When all you had to do get some fucking herbs and keep taking that shit till you see a motherfucking miracle. Cause guess what? If I'm going to die, I'm going to die by my own motherfucking hands. If I can help it, it's going to be something that I did. Not somebody else fucking playing with me and poking and prying at me for nothing. And I ain't finna kill myself. I got these bitches right here. (laughs) Activated charcoal, baby. Poisoning, overdose. If you take too much herbs, take a one of these motherfuckers. Cause I'm telling you, it gonna it gonna go. <laughs> I ain't say that. I'm just kidding. That's my do it yourself. That's my disclaimer. <laughs> this right here, it'll soak that shit right on up. But Mother Nature ain't gonna help you. She ain't gonna hurt you no way. Only thing you gonna do is you gonna feel like super jittery or you gonna feel like ooh, 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 wait a minute I took too much because I did that shit before <laughs> that's why I'm telling you what I know I end up mixing too much shit because I had a herb for this I had a herb for this I had a herb I did a yoni steam I did a couple of different herbs and good god I said whoa what did I do mama what did I do I said oh I said okay okay think don't panic think what do you do I said okay all right we're gonna lay off this shit for a couple of days <laughs> we got to let that level come back down you, you gotta go like just stop every goddamn thing y'all I, I must have stopped that shit for like two weeks to a month I brought that goddamn level all the way back down to zero and started back up again because I was like wait 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 mama Wait, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that shit. What the hell? <laughs> but see, I learned. I learned because my body type is small. My structure and my frame is small. I got a little fat, yeah. But if you really look at me, my frame is small. So you can't take a lot of shit. <laughs> you can't mix a lot of shit because some of that shit is stimulants. Some of that shit is adaptogens. And some of that shit is depressants. So... If you mix in different herbs, you finna get this right. And that must have been what I did. It Whatever I took, it didn't like. And then I had to do a yoni steam on top of it. And that had more in it. And it, I didn't catch it. I didn't even catch what I did. Because I just figured, okay, it wouldn't respond. Because those herbs are going down there, sitting on the yoni steam. They went right into my mucus lining. So they, it was... It was just like I drunk it my damn self. <laughs> and I could have just fell out laughing. I said, you got it. I said, Mama Nature, you, you got me. You got me. You told me. She taught me, be careful. Be careful with these herbs. So that right there was my one-on-one lesson with Mother Nature herb. Don't fucking play. <laughs> you better know what you're doing. You better find somebody that know what they're doing. When it comes to them damn herbs, as you getting them type of reactions from, you know, and different people going, it's going to do different things. It just made me jittery as fuck. You know, I was sitting up here like, the hell? Heart racing. And I'm sitting here like, what the hell did I take? 
What did I do? You know, damn, you know, I was puzzled. I was like, okay, drink some water. <laughs> flush, flush. I don't even know if I had one of these at the time. I don't even know because at one point I was out of these and I went and bought another one. I was like, okay, okay, just drink water, flush it out. You know, take, don't take them. Get your level to start right back down to zero. This was in November because I remember stopping all of November and starting back at zero at December the 1st. So this was just recent. This wasn't even long ago. And I was like, okay, because remember, I was dealing with that nervousness. So I had took all of this shit. Then I was detoxing my feet. Then I was doing the Yoni steam that had eight or nine damn herbs, maybe 13 herbs in it. Big mistake. Big mistake. I learned not to play with Mother Nature. That thing out there, mm-mm. Mm -mm. I got respect for that thing out there because that's some potent shit out there. That's some good ass shit. And if y'all don't think man-made medicine didn't get its synthetic medicine from her, something wrong with y'all ass because that's exactly what they did. They got the basic part of it from her and then synthetic made it synthetic because they saw what her shit was made of. So then you're so the synthetic because once it's natural, it's nature, you can't reproduce it. It's that's what it is at first, y'all. That's what it is at first. Remember, I told y'all the original creation was the natural rules were perfect one time. All of us after replicas, duplicates watered down, mixed breeds, cross contamination, cross infection, cross germs, cross viruses, cross bacteria, right? Because it was only perfect once from original creation. And that's once from original creation. So if you ain't getting it from the original growing out in the Amazon, where ain't no pollution, where ain't no, uh, Rain, no chemicals and acid and all that shit that come out of the rainwater is hurting it. All that shit we put up, carbon, whatever that shit, monoxide, dioxide, that shit. And all this truck pollution, all the car pollution, motorcycles, buses, transits, right? Planes, dumping stuff, dumping the toilets, dumping the, 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 the chemtrails. All of that changes even the vegetation if you're a farmer excuse me, it's going to change your crop because that's getting into the soil. So now the soil ain't even organic no more. It's been tainted. It's been what? Synthetic. Something false. Pseudo means false. If you look it up in nursing, pseudo with a P means false. Means something ain't there. They give y'all pseudo pills in the drug pharmacy and they give people the real shit with the, with the real synthetic shit, meaning, meaning that in the pharmacy. So they can tell if you playing games about certain drugs because they know that manufacturer, that's on that bottle too, the pill size, the manufacturer, the number, they know if they gave you a pseudo drug. A false drug with nothing in it to see if you really a drug addict to see if this sickness is really in your damn mind so you can get Prozac you can get any schizophrenia mental, mental, mental health illness drug and if you thinking oh I feel better now cuz oh cuz I tricked my mind and I took a pill and now I feel better that if you're acting now you're acting like you got sense, right? And they know that that drug was a pseudo drug. That's how they do clinical trials. You don't know if you're getting the pseudo cancer drug or you getting the real drug that's supposed to help the cancer. So you volunteer and as you taking this, they pay you what, $500 maybe to be a guinea pig? And you on a trial, a week or two, or eight weeks, whatever it is. 
and you trying to, they trying to decide the effect of your fucking mind. That shit ain't got shit to do with your damn body. They trying to find out how your fucking mind working. And if you got that shit, if you got marbles up here, cause it ain't got shit to do with the neck down. It got everything to do with the neck up your spirit right here. This is the ba. That's the body. Just the spirit. Okay. So you taking all this chemical trial stuff getting, you don't even know when you, they write the prescription that that's, you got the pseudo one. This other person got the real one. And then they monitoring the effects and you got to call in the effects. You got to call in if you experiencing pain or blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Now, don't get me wrong. They say these people got cancer. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying from a clinical, how this shit work when they're studying the drugs, right? The synthetic drugs they make or whatever. Y'all both supposedly have cancer, supposedly. If they didn't lie on you and false di diagnose you, that's why I'm saying supposedly. So... But they still know who getting the pseudo, pseudo and they still know who's getting the real medication synthetically that's supposed to help the cancer. Okay. This is your pharmaceutical. This is your medical industry, y'all. This is, you need to know. You, you need to know. So that's how they tell. They have to lock, date, block, manufacture size, put numbers on one side of the pill, put some letters on the other side of the fucking pill so they can tell where that pill was produced at what AstraZeneca, Kimberly Glyco, whatever the hell her name is, the major damn companies. Y'all know, look them up, pharmaceutical companies, Kimberly Clark, something other motherfucker, something, right? Whatever their name is. How y'all think they tell? And they dispatch these drugs all around the world. I worked in a doctor's office in I am and wound clinic. I watched them reps come in there by the droves with luggages full of samples, just dumping them on us to dump the patients. So I know what they do. They, I know what they do. So, but you have a free choice of free will is what I'm saying. And that free will is either you start learning your body, yourself, or being proactive with your doctor to, 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 to get your body right. And if your doctor don't want to help you get your body right, the way your spirit is telling you and guiding you, then you find yourself another doctor, y'all. It don't matter if it's a Chinese doctor because they know they fucking herbs. They know they damn herbs. When it comes to holistic shit, them Chinese jokers know them damn herbs. Chinese medicine. That shit ain't no joke. It's based off yin and yang, baby. It's based off the balance. They know what they're doing. And so you find yourself a holistic doctor. It could be somebody from India. I don't really care. As long as they teaching me right and giving me the right Mother Nature herbs, I don't care what color they are because it's not a color thing. It's a health thing. It's a health care thing. And it's, it's if you want to be proactive about your health care and, and herbalist and know her herbals, study her herbals. And what's going to give you life in your body and not destroy your body, y'all. That's what that's about. And you ain't going to get nothing more real <clears throat> than that out there. You ain't going to get no more real, no real uh, drug or whatever the hell you want to call it. Plant life, plant medicine than that out there. Because anything man-made is man-fucking-made, right? That's why it's, it's called lab, laboratory, because it's an experiment on what? Man-made shit. <laughs> y'all, this is stuff they taught y'all in school. The pH scale, all that, the table, the, what is it? The periodic table. The plants, the dinosaurs, what the dinosaurs ate, if they ate meat or if, if they ate, if they were vegetarian and you saw how big they were being the vegetarian dinosaur and how healthy they were being a, 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 a plant eater, right? And then the ones 
that seemed to be, <clears throat> this was so funny, because the one that seemed to be the meat eaters a lot of times were the little one, like the little one in Jurassic Park that was named Blue. That was a little old joker. Tan folks up. But the big ones were basically the veggie eaters look like. What that tell y'all? You meat eaters are so small. But you plant eaters and veggie eaters and fruit eaters eaters are big. Right? You've grown, you've matured. But meat what? Meat must stunt your growth. <laughs> I'm just putting two to two together, y'all. It just must. It, when I look at the dinosaurs, a lot of them that ate meat in Jurassic Park, they were small. And you wonder how the heck they taking out something big. Because the meat make them the savage. But yet they small compared to the veggie, usually, right? But they, 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 they meat eaters. So that make them act savage. That make them act barbaric that make them take on the what the death the the energy of the animal they killed or the energy of the animal that was slaughtered that you ate as a human being you now take on that energy that animal behavior or that animal fear when that animal was getting killed in the slaughterhouse they got videos out on that shit, y'all. That shit deep. If you see how some of them treat them damn cows and, and different animals when they trying to kill them, you wouldn't want to touch another motherfucking piece of meat. And then you wonder why we out there acting like goddamn savages and barbarians and hurting each other because of the way the meat is killed, the way the animal is killed and the meat is processed. And that energy and that memory is still in that meat. That energy is still in that meat. So you it go down that belt and they package it, put some water in it, put some hormones in it, blow it up, steroids, put it on the shelf, and you come through there and eat it. And you think it's plump and juicy. But it's steroids being pumped in it. And then on top of that, the fear that animal had if they didn't kill that animal with respect. If they didn't kill that animal with respect, that animal was terrorized. And then y'all ate it. We all ate it. But whoever eat meat. Or still eat meat. And because you're not balanced, you have no control over your own behavior. And you wonder why you acting savage and you acting barbaric. Health care is wealth care. Wealth care is health care. And at 2020, everybody should have some clarity, some transparency about their health care and their wealth care. Everybody should seek clarity. Everybody should see and everybody should seek it so that they know which direction they're going in for this next decade. Because this year going to determine a lot for a lot of people. And a lot of people finna get trapped in their old cycle for another 10 years. Now, you better sit down and ask yourself why you got this Rona savage girl out here acting a nut and you get to sit down and think about it. You better ask yourself where you want to be in the next 10 years and start making those changes in those habits and letting go habits that you don't need, that don't serve you. Because this, this 2020, it's going to tell a lot. It's going to tell a lot when we come out of Rona after, after her energy get through doing what she doing it's gonna tell a lot too and that fear from people eating pork beef fish or whatever the heck farm raised and how they killed I 
really truly think that it it has something to do with Rona and the way that they they dropping is because of the fear. But where did the fear come from, y'all? It had to been in the intestines, in the muscles. The fear had to been coming from what? The animal that was killed. Because I guarantee you the way some of them look, they meat eaters. You can look at people and tell if they meat eaters. You can tell. You can tell. You can look at them, see what they're buying, but I'm saying you can tell. So you don't think that that energy from eating meat. See, y'all understand energy. I told y'all energy was truly everything. When I said energy was truly everything, I meant that. Energy takes forms and moves and goes, right? Ebbs and flows. So it moves from one thing to another. And so if you don't think that energy from butchered meat is still trapped, that memory is still trapped in your muscles, in your body, in your intestines. And then they let out Rona girl, cowgirl on the loose out here and you don't think those people that fear somehow triggered that energy from that pig or that cattle and made them become what? Fearful. Terrorizing. Made them feel that energy triggered because they took in so much of Rona. Rona this, Rona that, Rona this, Rona that, Rona, Rona over here, Rona overseas, Rona, Rona, Rona over there, Rona over here. Oh God, we gotta close down the whole city. Oh, Rona this, Rona this, Rona this, Rona this. You don't think that triggered that energy from that animal? It's like apocalypto. Once the fear set in, if they have no balance, they can't overcome it. Then it takes them out. And because they didn't have no defense built up in the inside, they couldn't fight it. They didn't know how to fight it. Casualty of war. Just a casualty of war. Right? Sad. But that's a casualty of war. Y'all better get your herbs. You better get a book. I done put them up in a couple of videos. Better start reading and self-educate yourself. Y'all know what's wrong with you. Y'all know what the doctor told y'all what was wrong with you or what he so-called diagnosed you with. I don't know your diagnosis. I Like I said, my disclaimer is I am not a nurse. I am not a, I'm a nurse, but I'm not a physician. So go see your physician. Don't take none of my advice because I'm not going to be responsible. <laughs> this is just my entertainment, educational, do-it-yourself information. And I want it for my records. In case I need to look back over it. So yeah, go do it. I mean, this is my do-it-yourself. Go get your own do-it-yourself. You know, if that's what you want to do. I'm not telling you to trust anything I say. I'm just sharing my experience with Mother Nature. And I have a right to share my experience with Mother Nature. And she a beast. <laughs> she, God damn. <laughs> Woo. Godly. That thing out there. But she got all the remedies we need. If y'all just read. Get off your lazy butt and read something that you don't know. Learn something every day. And then practice, implement it. That's how you learn. That's how you learn your body because my body is different from your body and the next person's body. So medications always affect people differently. They Not even in the medicine world, in the healthcare industry, will it affect somebody. A synthetic medicine will affect somebody the same. It depends on the person. Really, it depends on your mindset. Because the medicine, to me, ain't really doing shit. It's right here that's doing it. It's the power of your mind. If you think that medicine is working, then guess what? The medicine going to work. That's how powerful our mind is to create or destroy. And if you feel that medicine not working, 
then guess what? Your body gonna say, that shit ain't working and still be sick. And then you might die. Or you might get sicker, right? And go back for something more potent. So it's still a mindset thing. And until you gain control over your spirit, over the, over the mind, ain't nothing gonna work. Because you gotta have control here first. You gotta have control in your own power and your own ability to heal yourself. And that's what they strip from everybody. You know, from mostly everybody. And it's spiritual white people out there. And it's spiritual black people out there. Asian, Indian. I met them all. I met a lot of people that that believe in herbs, that had gardens, that had, you know, herbs around their houses, or in their, in their rooms, in their kitchen, that grew certain shit a lot in home health. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Russians, all of it. It ain't just black people thing. People that connect to Mother Earth know. So you can get somebody that ain't even your color. That ain't got nothing to do with what color your skin is to help you. The main thing is that you get the help. And you start bettering your health. Because I'm telling you, Rona Girl is going to be back. Even if he do say, oh, we coast is clear for May. Or the end of May. Oh, the coast is here. Uh, the coast the coast is clear for June. You better take that shit with a grain of salt and get something to pre preventively safe to take from a doctor. Especially leading back up to this cold this cold uh, winter. Because if y'all notice, we didn't have a, a winter. We had like two or three days, I think. No ice, no sleep. Wasn't, didn't even get really below 32 or 28 a few days. We didn't hardly get no cold. So that tell me some shit was really off. Something was really off. We didn't even kill half the shit. We were supposed to freeze off that we could kill. And then the minute it got warm, we saw bees. We saw wasps. You know, didn't even give them time. They, was all, they ain't even went nowhere. They were laying low. They were bracing themselves and never had a winter. Y'all better pay attention to this weather in your city or where East Coast, West Coast is Central. Y'all better pay attention to your weather. You ought to know your weather by now if you've been living there. You ought to know what's normal and, and what's not normal. You know, we got bipolar meta, uh, weather in Texas, but shit, I had enough goddamn intelligence to know we didn't have a motherfucking winter either. I, Cause if I didn't make it with a jacket and I get cold quick, that told me we didn't have a winner. I had my daughter's army jacket, that little fleet thing and air was hitting straight through the arm. I run to just a couple steps and get in the car and warm up. Normally I have a big old coat on with a scarf, all kind of warm stuff. And I made it through the winter with that thing. That told me something. It didn't get cold. It didn't get cold enough for me. And if it didn't get cold enough for me, pay attention to your body. Your body tell you everything. Your body will tell you everything if you listen to your body, y'all. Y'all ain't listening to your body. You're ignoring your body. You're ignoring the signs, the symptoms, whatever, the alarms, the, the, the bells, the whistles, whatever the, your body telling you, you're ignoring it. You're ignoring it. And you need to start getting some intuition and pay attention to what your intuition tell you. You need to start because that's going to save your life. That's what's going to save your life. Your intuition, <clears throat> not your emotion, your intuition. Well, it's a feeling, but it's a different kind of feeling. It's a, it's an innate feeling like deep, 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 deep down up in there that says, look here now. Uh, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Go that way. Now I'm going to go this way. Go that way. Now I'm going to go this way. I think I'm going to go this way. You just ignored your intuition telling you to go this way. Because you wanted to go that way. Y'all be good. Be safe. Wrong the girl out there. <laughs> Drink you some lemon water, please. Drink. Just keep drinking it all day, please. Please keep your throat. Keep it flush. Because it, it, that's what it's doing. It's hitting this area. It's hitting that throat. 
a couple of my friends, you know, said they had a sore throat. Well, one is a friend and one is a, uh, was on one of my YouTube channels. And that, that, the uh, garlic and stuff helped her. And the other one said she did something. Or some, I don't know if she did all of it yet. She said she would. But I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I, I can't. I'm not begging nobody. I just can tell you what worked for me. And it's up to you to try it for you. That's all. I'm, I, my hands is tied. I can't make you do nothing. You know, I'm just sharing my studies of myself on my own body. Because I'm trying to help myself save myself. <laughs> y'all be good. You know what I say. Like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If y'all don't know it, it'll be somewhere floating around on my page. Y'all can find it. This is live. I'm going to have to just share this. I don't even know if it's going to record where I can make it into a YouTube or not. So, but anyway, it'll be on my page. But anyway, y'all know what I say. Peace, love, and harmony. Because what it's about is peace, love, and harmony inside ourselves. That's what it's about. <laughs>